Alright, this is another test video, but um, I hope you can hear my voice. I don't know how well that microphone's going to work. Um, after the fire I had in the Impala, here's the update. Um, Robert over at M&H Electric Fabricators helped me out. Um, we got a new... This is a dash harness. Everything under the dash. That's going to be a lot of fun to install. Um, this is the forward lamp harness. The forward lamp harness is actually really easy to install. Um, that'll probably only take me about 20 minutes, 30 minutes maybe. Um, they, Robert said pretty much everything in the, on the electrical side of the car was messed up pretty bad. Um, I sent them my old harness and everything so they could test it and look at it. Got a new starter solenoid. I don't have the ignition here, but the I'm gonna go get the ignition from AutoZone here in a few minutes. I'm gonna start working on the car again. Surprisingly, AutoZone actually had the um, external voltage regulator. I didn't expect them to have that. I thought I was gonna have to get that from Classic Industries. That's usually who I go through um, for oddball stuff. Them and Impala Bobs over in. Uh, I think he's in Mesa or Phoenix. He's in Arizona. And then I think this is the horn relay. Yeah, the horn relay. I'm probably gonna paint that black because I don't, I don't like the look of it. The original horn relay that I have is already black, and it's, it says Delco Remy and everything. It, it looks pretty nice. Um, and then this was probably the worst wire in the vehicle, so uh, they made me one over at M and H. This is the wire that goes directly from the battery to the horn relay. And then this is the old, this is the dash harness here. Um, you can see uh, this red wire here comes from the battery to the horn relay to the ignition. And then, I don't know how well you can see that, but it melted its way out of the clip and grounded. That's where the fire started. This is the fuse panel hookup at the firewall. This is the engine bay side. This is the cabin side. And you can see that wire just melted right out of its casing there. Um, the other side of the fuse panel. This part of the fuse panel is not too, not really damaged. Um, and you can see on its way to on its way to the battery, that wire got so hot it melted the, the wrapping to it and it just kind of split the wrapping open as it melted. Um, here's the connector that goes to that firewall and um, it just completely melted and you can see the connectors all bent out of the pin. Um, it actually welded itself to the other pin so when I separated them, it kind of unbent itself like that. That's how hot it got. It got pretty freaking hot. It scared me. Um, from now on, when I'm working on electrical in a vehicle, I will have a fire extinguisher on standby. Here's the old ignition. I'm going to replace it. These are only a couple of bucks. Um, the terminal's a little burnt there. I don't know why because um, it wasn't hooked up at the time of the fire and here's the old wire that went from the battery directly over to the horn relay as you can see it's melted pretty bad it, it was actually pretty horribly put together um, somebody made this I didn't catch it if I would have known it was in this bad a condition then I would have replaced it a long time ago but it's hidden under the uh, under that front frame so here's the old Delco Remy um, horn relay so I'll probably paint the new one black to kind of match this I don't know if this it looks like it was actually painted black now that I look at it but um, so hopefully I can get the car back on the road soon and lastly this is the alternator Robert said I need to replace the alternator um, I'll probably go have it tested see what some guys around here think. 
because um, I really don't want to replace it. It's pretty nice. This is the original alternator, well, at least the one that came in the vehicle when I bought it. Um, I took it apart, rebuilt it. It wasn't always this shiny. I polished it up, repainted the wheel, and um, it could use some touch-ups here and there. But when I first got my Dremel, I had uh, some free time on my hands and decided to grind it down. Shined it up pretty good. It looks nice in the car, but um, this one still works. It's perfect. Nothing wrong with it. So I'm going to put this one in the vehicle for now just so I can get it running. Hopefully everything works well. And because I'm still testing this camera, hopefully you guys can hear my voice. So we'll go plug it in and see.